Hi everyone, today we're back landscaping. I'm leaving the house here just before 6.30, it's a little chilly out, I have a sweatshirt on, but today guys we have a pretty big project and Buck is back to help us on out, so let's get on over to the shop and get to work. Like always guys, there's a full mods list linked down below, and if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. Today's job is pretty big here, I've actually spent the last few days working with a customer doing the last a little bit of designing and planning for it, including the material choices here, and actually we got them all dropped off at the job site, so that's gonna help us on out, not having to run around town doing that here, but just get into the shop looks like. I am here even earlier than Buck, which is A-OK -okay here, and in the back of the truck, guys, is the plate compactor. It wouldn't start, so I had to drop it off really quickly at the local supplier, and they were able to get it tuned up and back to fully functioning, which is good here. But I'm going to run inside here, uh, just get the doors open up here, and wait for Buck. Hey, am I at the right place of work? Yeah, you're at the new shop. Yay! I, th I didn't get lost, even though I only <laughs> live like three blocks from here. Yeah, this is a new shop since uh, we're starting a new season. Well, that sounds like a great time. I see we probably got a little, we kind of downsized on equipment, didn't we? Or at least downsized on the small stuff? Yeah, I, I decided to sell off a few of the skid sears with high hours and kind of lower the shop footprint. That's, that's good. The, um, I actually ended up, well, not really downsizing, I upsized, but I upgraded my Jeep. I now have a 20, uh, 3500 GMC regular cab. Wow, that's a nice truck. Yeah, I love that thing. 4x4, four four, long bed, I can haul a lot of stuff, get mulch, do patios, and it's just been kind of nice to have that. And then I can obviously tow a lot more stuff with it. I got a tow package on it. Do yeah, snack. that's much more handy than a Jeep. Yeah, even though the Jeep was a lot more rugged, you could take it over a lot more yeah. stupid things. Probably took that off-roading a bit. Yeah. I may or may not have broken a few tie rods doing it, but <laughs> we'll live. Well, yeah. What do we got on the job today? What do we got on the job board today, boss? So we're going to be building a patio and then a small fire pit area for a homeowner in town. Ooh, I like that. I like that. So with that, so what exactly are we going to be taking? We, I have to go run over to local supply to pick up some gravel. So if you want to get one of the trucks, uh, I would say probably two skid steers and don't forget a pallet fork in a, a few buckets okay uh do you want a toothed bucket or a straight bucket uh the bucket with teeth is probably the way to go okay i'll grab that i might uh, actually i haven't seen what do we got in here since Ooh, we get did we get a new cat yeah we ended up uh picking up a smaller cat here I like that. That's I. I really actually like that. That that looks like it gets the job the job a little bit easier. Yeah, I bought this to, to do sidewalks. Ooh, in the I like that. I'll grab the bobcat and this cat, and we can, and then we can take those two. Even okay. though the Kubota is really nice, but I think the, the that Kubota is just a little bit too big. It'd probably tear up the ground a little bit more. Yeah. So I'll uh, text you the address, and then I'll meet you over there. Sounds good. I'll grab the keys from the key box and we'll be on our way. Yeah. All right. See you at the job. See ya. Wait, actually, which truck are you taking? I'm going to be taking the uh, GMC dump truck here, but also don't forget the uh, plate compactor in the back of the truck here. Buck's going to be getting everything loaded up here, but I have to run on over to local supply here. If I don't get there right at open, I think we're going to be waiting in a big line today. It looks like we are the first ones here, which is awesome we'll, here. We'll just come around back here. So for the patio, guys, we are going to get three quarter inch stone mixed with stone dust, which will be the perfect base here. Some people use sand, but I think that this uh, in the area where we live is going to be best with the winter and everything like that here. Really quickly, I will just show you guys what it does look like here. So, yep, yeah, that is going to be perfect here for us. But I'm going to have to run inside here, pay for it, and it'll get us loaded up.
and we're off to the job here. They are super quick at this local supply. When we moved over to this new shop, I had to find a new supplier. And these people are really good here. But I will have to say, guys, this GMC is one of my favorite dump trucks uh, that I've been uh, owned here with the company here. I really do like the size. A little bit bigger than uh, like a regular F350, 3500. But let's get on over to the job. And I wonder if we're going to get uh, there before Buck uh, since I had to go to the supplier here. But let's get on over there. I'm here at the job site and I think Buck will be here within the next few minutes here so I'm actually thinking it will probably be easier for us to bring the gravel uh, with the shortest path here so I'll back down the driveway I, I don't really want to be unloading this in a nice driveway like this we'll just unload it right from the tailgates and I think that will do the trick here for us but I'm going to double check a few emails here while we wait for Buck. I kind of got lost I, I went to the supply not here. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I think I sent both ad addresses, so that's my fault. That's yeah, all good. So if you want to do a quick walk around before we get going on it, so uh, we know what we're going to be doing. Yes, sir. Let me just get the dovetail down. Oh. Yeah, that definitely saves our back not having to lift heavy ramps. <laughs> yes. So elaborate. What are we doing? So we're going to be doing a patio and a fire pit. You, you can see we got the four blocks for the fire pit and then we have the patio pavers here. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Yeah. That's going to be a lot of fun putting those down piece by piece. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take some time, but once we get uh, started, we'll be able to get through it uh, pretty quickly. Okay. So these four markers is where we're going to be building the fire pit. Okay. And then uh, over here... Uh, you can see the steps from the house. This is going to be the patio. I like that. I like that. So we, I mean, obviously the patio itself, we leveled off, but are we going to be putting a footing around this at all? No. So we're going to be removing all this grass and then we're going to be bringing in the gravel base and then the, the pavers on top of it. Okay. Now the fire pit, are we just kind of like taking that down the dirt, setting the four blocks and we're done yep. or... Yeah, so no gravel over here at the fire pit. Alright, that should be good. Just take really slow turns so you're not tearing the stuff up right out of the ground. Yeah, it's a really nice yard. Buck's going to be working on the patio, and I'm going to be working on the fire pit here, so we'll be able to get this done a lot faster. Having a two-person crew, guys, is so handy on projects like this here. Now, a smaller skid seal like this will also be helpful uh, since uh, it's a pretty small yard, and we're going to be doing a lot of moving back and forth here, but we have the bucket with the teeth. I mean, this should really have no problem uh, for the fire pit here. Uh, I'm not sure how compact the dirt is, but... Uh, let's see how it goes. Alright, I think that's all the dirt we're going to be removing here. So why don't we get switched over to the pal forks and get those uh, blocks in place here. Hey, are these granite blocks that we're putting around this? Or what kind of rock is this? I don't know exactly. They are not granite though because uh, that would be way too much money for a fire pit. Yeah. They look like just... rough cut from like a quarry. Probably. Well, either way, uh, what we can do is we can actually use the dirt that's in the bucket right now, the bobcat, and we can use that to shake it around the side. So once we get it in where you dug down, then we can fill in around it so it's all nice and level. Yeah. I do have a level in the truck, so we're going to have to run and get that. But let's see if I could get these. Uh, what, what are you thinking? Maybe 250 pounds? Or is that yeah? It eh, it closer could be four five hundred. No, this is probably be about two hundred pounds. It doesn't look like it's. I mean, if it was two of these together to make one, yeah, it'd be that. But let's see here. I should be able to pick it up. I'm also watching the skid steer to make sure. Oh, there's a little bit of weight on the back. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're fine. So bring it probably a little closer if we want to. The sticks are a little bit off. Yeah, it was the general area. Let's see here. Right there? 
Do you want to check the yeah. level on it and see what it is? Um, I can just use my little like spade, but it's it's kind of leaning back like it's going because obviously that's going downhill over there, so it's kind of got a little bit of grade. I'll just dig out underneath of it a little bit. Okay, I will start bringing the next, next one. one. Buck's gonna be helping laying these big uh, stones in place for the fire pit here. But once this is done, guys, this is gonna be a really nice fire pit for the customers. Alright, that one you might want to try and rotate a little bit. I mean, I can, I can kind of rotate and pick these up, but... Yeah, so I'm thinking to make it a little bit of a bigger fire pit, uh, wh what if we do corner to corner instead of yeah. kind of overlapping the block? Because then that also leaves them if they wanted to put something like a little decoration, yeah. like one of the little owls or a little bench or tiki yeah, so torch, who knows. Let's, I, I see that it's a little rotated. Let me see if I could... Uh, I, I mean, I can kind of... Once, if you set it down in roughly the same area, I can kind of pick it up and swivel it just a little bit. I think right there looks like the corners match. Yep. Perfect. I'll try and like drag it a little bit. Yeah, let's see it. Let me see if I can help. <laughs> right Come there. Come on. Yep. Okay. 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 Yeah. Oh god, it's gotta come your way just like it's gotta come your way like an inch and a half. Okay. Let's see. You wanna just see just pull it barely off. Yeah. Push it! Come on! Right there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got Ooh. corner to corner. Perfect, okay. I'll go get the next one. <laughs> Only two more. I'm, I'm gonna take five. <laughs> Oh, don't drop it on my foot. Yeah. It's going to roll off. I will be careful of that. Do you have steel toe boots? Composite toe, good enough. <laughs> Let's see here. Looks like I'm picking them up at a little bit of an angle. Uh, I will try to change my approach. Well, I would say I could scoot it around, but after last time, I'm surprised I didn't throw up my back or get a hernia. <laughs> Surprisingly, that cat's not tearing up the turf as much as I thought it would. Yeah, I'm trying to go slow and not really turn too, too fast. And also do a complete, like, 360 at once. Well, it kind of works. I think it's probably good to leave a little bit of a spacing yeah, so between them. Yeah, so drainage and things. That in. Yeah. Part Something one like is that. done. <laughs> yeah. Well, I actually already have the ground done over there. It's just we got... Actually, wait a minute. I have the dirt. We can fill it in. Yeah, so put that around it, and then we'll we'll get some grass seed. I have the bag in the uh, passenger side of my truck. I'll compact it. Do you want to start running gravel now? Yep, that's what I plan on doing. Let's get to compacting this so it's ready to go for gravel here. We want to make sure there's no settling. Otherwise, uh, there's going to be some ups and downs in it here. So just nice and slow all the way around. But good thing, guys, I double checked this plate compactor the other day. Otherwise, we would have had to do this all by hand. And I, I definitely would not want to be doing that because I don't think I would really want to do much after that here. But let's see here. Just keep on going and Buck's already here with gravel. Buck starting to spread the gravel there. I'm just doing one or two more passes here, and I think that is all we need here. So let's just move this off to the side here. So we want about two to three inches of gravel, which is what Buck is doing here. Yeah, this is going to be the perfect base here for us. And then it's laying down the pavers that I think is probably going to take most of the afternoon.
Well, I think this should be my last pass before I kind of start working on the, like, keeping it level. Yeah, and then I'll hop on the compactor. Just got to try and evenly disperse it out enough. Yeah, so this is gravel mixed with stone dust, so I'm wondering, it might be a little bit easier to spread than just gravel. Yeah, it actually is spreading out here really, really well. And we could actually hand rake this, or you could even use a bucket. Just go nice straight line here. That's that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set this thing down to, what, two, three inches? Yeah, two, three inches, and then I will compact it. Good thing I double-checked that this thing turned on. Otherwise, we would have been using those hand stampers. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. Well, are you ready to start laying the pavers? Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's on a pallet. Do you want me to try to lift the whole pallet over there or just take piece by piece? Uh, we could try lifting with the whole pallet. I think that... you. It looks like you have enough weight. You got four weights on the back. Yeah, right. Let's give this a try then. I felt have to watch like out really... the truck. Don't want to scrape the paint. Oh, I already hit the back of the truck with the bucket. <laughs> Fire me and invoice me later. Oh, it's a work truck. Are you ready? Yep. Oh boy, there we go. Hey, you can tell it's leaning forward. Yeah, I'm trying to go nice and smooth on the controls here. All right, well, let's get to laying them down then. We should probably okay. start at the house at this corner here and build off from yeah. that. Well, actually, let's, well, we, yeah, we can do that. Let's do that. But do we want to start right at the steps so we know where the edges are? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, I think we did just fine. Did you actually, uh, did you grab the little Scott spreader that we got to do the uh, lawn starter and the fertilizer with as well as the grass seed? Yeah, I will get that when I uh, go over to the truck to put the skid steer up on it. But yeah, the project came out good. Absolutely. I mean, it, a little rusty it, it at looks, doing pavers. Yeah. But it's, hopefully I mean, also this stuff, just even getting it leveled is just always half the problem. But yeah. I think we have big enough pavers on there that they won't, like, tilt or offset too much. It's that, like, individual bricks where you can easily see the easily yeah. see the difference. The base is what usually takes the most time. Mm-hmm. Well, now, I guess we could just get everything loaded up and I will finish up the grass seed. Yeah, say, so what did they end up getting? Was it Kentucky bluegrass or was it just like just the general lawn grass no I, I got them the kentucky bluegrass to match otherwise there will be some different grass patches very true i think honestly i like the fire pit better <laughs> yeah <laughs> kind of... i think they're gonna spend more time here than the patio probably yeah yeah maybe... let's definitely get stuff loaded up get yeah maybe they'll some... invite us back here for a night at the patio uh, at the well, fire they better pit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was good having your help today. Absolutely, bud. Good to be back on the crew. All right, and see you sometime next week? Yep, sounds good, bud. We'll uh, get loaded back up here, and we'll uh, see you probably, I don't know when, maybe next week sometime. Yep. All right, well, have right, a good rest good. of your day. You too. We'll see you, bud.
Well guys, there we have it. We finished the project here and we have a few left here on the pallet. But guys, this project came out awesome and Buck was a great help today. So until next time guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.